Good morning and welcome to Green TV for July 11th, 2012. To my left is Logan Burgess and I'm Brock Schumbino. Today we brought us the latest installment of the USDA WASDE report as it pertains to crop production and yield. Logan, what were we looking at? Yeah, well kind of the big number here that the trade's been focused on is that yield estimate out of the corn crop. As we can see here, the USDA came out with 146 bushels per acre. That was about 8 bushels lower than what the trade was kind of expecting, around 154 bushels per acre. And that's actually 20 bushels per acre lower than what the USDA was using in their June report. You know, the trade's kind of, uh, this 166 number is fully discounted. People have kind of thrown that out the window here as dry conditions persist across the Midwest. But this 146 number was still a surprise to the low side here uh, and certainly supporting the corn market here in the early going. As you can see here on the soybean front, we did come in lower than trade expectations here. 40.5 bushels per acre estimated by the USDA here this morning. And that was about uh, three bushels per acre lower than what the, uh, the figure they were using in their June report was. But kind of the big number here on the yield front is this estimate out of the corn crop here as we approach uh, pollination in, in a lot of places. Uh, other big number that the trade was really focused on today was ending stocks. Brock, what are we kind of, uh, what are we looking at there? Yeah, we did see a surprise the addition to the ending stocks for 11-12. Right. Uh, what this is being attributed to is uh, 2 million more bushels being imported and 50 million bushels less being exported. So that gives us the 52 million increase in the ending stocks for 11-12 on corn. Uh, soybeans was relatively unchanged, only down 5 million bushels on the, the uh, ending stocks for 11-12. But the big number that the trade was focusing on was the ending stocks for 12-13. We saw corn down about 698 uh, million bushels right. on the ending stocks. Most of that has been attributed to lower than anticipated production that then we saw in the June report right. and soybeans was actually down about 10 million bushels most of the, some of that about 5 million bushels being attributed to lower beginning stocks this this coming year so. yeah right well you know it's kind of a bullish report here for the grains in general let's take kind of a closer look right now at the 2012 2013 balance sheet for corn here. As you can see, production was lowered by about 1.8 billion bushels there. Uh, kind of the big number here that moved lower was that feed usage, down 650 million bushels. You know, there's a lot of people talking about that we are going to see demand rationing. Anytime you get corn futures north of $7, demand rationing becomes an issue here. And uh, we haven't really seen the full extent of demand rationing out of these feed operations. A lot of feed is forward contracted, so expect this number to continue to slow down if futures continue rallying here on the heels of, a, of a, this weather market that we're in right now. If we take a look at uh, food and seed, we also had that lowered by 5 million bushels. Ethanol was down by 100 million bushels. Exports were actually lowered by 300 million bushels and beginning stocks actually the only one that was increased here up 52 million bushels taken on net as you said Brock we're down about 693 million bushels here for the 2012-2013 uh, balance sheet here for corn a lot of fundamental news in the market this morning how did that play out in Chicago Brock let's hop over to fire tip take a look at the live quotes here yeah the, the pits did open with a release of these reports a little bit earlier but as you can see here on fire tip uh, old crop corn is actually up seven and three quarters. New crop is up nine and a half. Soybeans up twenty one and a half on the old crop. New crop up twenty four. Wheat in Chicago up ten, and Kansas City wheat falling right along up nine and three quarters. So yeah, Brock. If we kind of look at the outside markets here, clearly outside markets are on the back burner as we're in the midst of a weather market and we have a big wise report. But uh, we do have crude oil trading up a little over a dollar here. We have the dollar index actually pulling back a little bit. Both those have been uh, helped out here in their moves by news out of Spain that they actually approved 65 billion euros in austerity measures there for that country. So that, that does lend, uh, lend support to the global demand scenario here. As a result, we have a bullish WASDE report. We have bullish outside markets here. Um, so you know, as, as he said here, we do have grains up across the board right now. I think that kind of wraps up our show here for Wednesday morning on Grain TV. Thanks a lot for joining us. Have a great rest of your day.